So here we are back at um, the new house. I think it's March 23rd, and uh, just been for a look round. There goes. Um, we've been doing a tour. We had a very nice tour with Julianne earlier, and then it's been finished off by the Andrew. So they're going through the uh, temporary hole in the in the fence to the old house to put the kettle on, I suspect. And uh, this is where we. What it all looks like now, as of, um, as I say, I think it's March 23rd today. Um, as usual, I'm not going to remember anything that James or Julianne or Andrew told me, except that the stone finish, it uses Parkham stone. So I'm quite impressed with myself remembering that. And um, it's all looking, well, finished. Obviously the the um, the landscaping is yet, yet to be done, but... Um, have a quick peek round there. The garage, all the light and power is in the garage. Um, it's currently holding the um, the kitchen units that are due for installation next week. Oh, there's some obstacles, best not fall over them. So, kind of go in the go in through this door. I'm going to have to remember things. Seems very unlikely I'm going to remember very much. Um, lovely yellow flooring, but the yellow flooring is temporary and uh, is going to be tiled with these big tiles. And these are the shiny tiles. And these tiles are all going down starting tomorrow. So that's how uh, close to the, the main event we are. And the tiling man's coming tomorrow, and you saw all this being used. What I particularly liked <laughs> is, is the, the tiling man's plan. I particularly like that. Um, <laughs> he clearly doesn't smoke, so doesn't have a fag packet. But that's his plan for the week. So I particularly liked that. But anyway, here we are inside the new house, and uh, that's the outside. Electric blinds, I believe, are going in there. And this um, yellow, Andrew did explain to me that the hot water pipes that heat the underfloor are three inches below um, the concrete. And then this goes on top, and then the tiles go on, on top of that. And that provides the heating for in here. This, uh, this is where the kitchen units are going in and I say they're in the garage at the minute so they're all due for installation in the next week and if I remember rightly this is this wall is where the the ovens are and the fridge and the sink etc and the units are over there and wherever this is here is where the um, sort of cooking station the hob or whatever is going to be um, the fire that goes between the two is is there um, and that's pretty much that's the view, which is very nice. Um, there's lots of zones around heating zones, so you can control the heating in different zones. Um, anyway, that's the the kitchen, and, and this is the dining area. And obviously, this bit here that I kind of whizzed through is the um, is the lounge area. And that's that. Now, the most important room, particularly for James and Ben, I think, but I think for Julianne and Andrew as well, is the, um, well, we're calling it the media centre, like at Lord's, but it's, um, it's the TV, the big TV room. Uh, now, the colour was red current, if, if I remember what Julianne said. And um, if I come to the back wall, then um, straight in front will be the um, very big, uh, eventually 92 I think it was or 96 inch screen and a projector system is the idea initially there might just be a big TV temporarily um, I'm told the gaming console setup is all down here um, and that's that's the the media media and gaming center multimedia center with a view out the back which uh, you can kind of see the fence of the old house. Uh, miss the wires, as I say. Um, doors here, solid doors, so you can uh, create a blackout situation in there. Um, now, the, let me get this right. So if I stand here, 
pretty much where those uh, rear double doors are. It's um, gloss tiles to the left, and there's the builder, and um, matte tiles to the, to the right. Um, and that goes through to the, well, what will be the front door? What is the front door? And then off the front door is um, Amy's room, currently looking, looking after all the tiles, but this will be Amy's room with a um, shower room off it. And the plant room has come on a lot because uh, this is the plant and utility room. I'm not going to be able to remember this now, but um, the two big grey tanks are uh, hot water, one for the underfloor heating, and I think the big one is for showers and baths, so effectively around the house. And then these two big units here, I think, are the heat pump, and they uh, they actually are what controls the very clever um, heating system for the for the house, with all the pipe work going around the garden. So, and then behind where I am is the plumbing for the uh, sort of washing machine, that type of stuff. So this is the utility room. And this, of course, is where a little doggy will come in when they have one. A little dog will come in with his wet paws um, and be made to sit out here in his basket till he dries off. Um, I'm not altogether sure Andrew's sold on that idea. So a um, dog basket could be here. And then um, that's the downstairs. So I so say just really Amy's room and utility room. This time, my last video, I had to climb up a ladder. But I can actually got the steps this time. It'll be a certain irony having survived the ladder if I fall down on the steps. But um, going up the steps, James gave me this bit of the tour, which was very good. So consequently, we know this is James's room, um, which is uh, plastered and painted since I was last here. And uh, do you know what? Still as big as it was last time. So it's a lovely big bedroom. And uh, views over the over the fields and the garden. Which is something I just I said before to James that it just feels like a different view than from the other house, even though we're only you know, 20, 30 metres from it. But that's the the view. So if James goes off to university, he's going to miss that. But um, walk in wardrobe, strip lighting, LED lighting at the top. And then opposite to uh, James's room is Ben's room. Again, all uh, looking very smart now. So that's very nice. Again, the strip lighting. And Ben has a uh, has a, um, an ensuite shower room in here, waiting for plumbing. So back out of there. This, we've learnt the work. James and I couldn't remember the word balustrade. But this void here is a void, so you can look up and down, but it will be protected by a, a glass balustrade that goes across there to stop idiots like me falling down. Likewise, there's a glass balustrade that goes here um, when you're looking down at the front. So that'll be, well, I think that'll be very quite spectacular when it's all done, particularly with that view. And this is um, the master bedroom, Andrew and Julianne's master bedroom. Been in here earlier, and that's all looking very nice. And it will be nice, because I assume the bed will go here with that sort of view. So it's a pretty nice view. I won't have my reflection in it. Um, I did go out there, but I think we've just come to the window this time. I did go out last time to have a look. With the, well, what I would call the coffee drinking balcony. So that's all nice. There's the garage. The, um, there's a little like, like half fence that goes along, that will continue on this side. And Andrew was saying he was planting a beach, I think it was beach, um, a beach hedge. I think he's done that side, but it will also continue this side. And then obviously whatever um, gated entrance that Andrew decides on. Nice big turning, turning circle for cars, which um, for those of us who've reversed up the existing drive that's going to be a great relief not least for those who've just passed their driving test like James, well done James you've had a mention on my video um, so back over here I think this was the master this is the master bathroom, oh I didn't oh, I made a mess of that video, that's the master bathroom which would effect effectively be James's bathroom because the bit I didn't walk through in 
Andrew and Julie Ann's rooms, a dressing area, and they've obviously got an ensuite um, as there. So, so Ben and um, Ben's room and Andrew and Julie Ann's room have ensuite up here. James pretty much had the master bathroom, and uh, Amy's got a shower room next to hers downstairs. Once again, this is where I had to do the ladder last time, but um, that's all glass. Oops, reversed, not too far. So there's a glass that goes here, another glass balustrade. So, and this is Andrew's, Andrew's office. So, um, as we said last time, he's going to point his desk away from the window so he can actually get some work done. But that's, um, ah, it's, I have to say, I could probably sit here and do nothing all day quite happily, much like I do at the moment. That's just our pool, and that's not a swimming pool, yeah, just for those thinking. And that's, uh, that's pretty much up here. So walking back, as I said before, there's these zone controls everywhere for the heating. That's been tested, I was told. That was a success, so that's good. Now, back down the stairs, whilst attempting not to fall over. Never a given. Um, there's the front door. Very good, and I think that's most of most of indoors. Um, it's going to look very nice. This is always the room best best seen now, because next time I do a little video, it's going to be have units and stuff in, and that really does give the flavour for it. In fact, I don't think the last time. Got to bear in mind that this middle bit is going to be open, um, so you'll be able to. That will give even more light coming in, as will over here. This is the the back double doors so again that will be open with a glass balustrade up there and similarly at the other end where the front door is so that will be uh, be very good that will place should be flooded in light should be very good and there we are now I'd like to have a quick look outside so I think that was ah that's very good there the builders closed the garage doors now, for, so I can show that on the video. The solar power, power panels on the roof, and that's the, as I say, the view out there. The um, Julianne's made a start on the garden. So she's made a start, transported, I've transplanted some plants, I believe, uh, to the old house, or existing house, and there's a fence up around that now because I think it's on the, likely on the market next week. So, um, so the old property, the existing property, is now had a boundary around it. But going back to this one, um, that's the view from, from here. A little bit of brickwork still to go, Parkham Stone, did I mention that earlier? And then um, this is the view from the back of the View from the back, which is quite quite good, quite spectacular. The um, Andrew tells me that they've treated the wood once; they're never intending to do it again in their lifetime. So it will eventually fade to a more, more like a silver grey colour, which will blend in. But if I go back a little bit again, well, well I'll swing this round so everybody can see the fields and the. Uh, never seen so many pheasants today, I was virtually stepping on one just now. Um, and that actually come down here because it does give a view as to the boundary fence for the existing house. Um, because obviously that is a, a new thing. It does give a very decent sized garden inside the new property, but it still leaves lots of scope out here. Um, for whatever Andrew and Julianne want to do. Um, and that's that. There's the neighbours. But that's the probably the best view of the house actually is the, to see that like that. Very good. Yeah, let's put it, zoom it out. Very good. Grand designs. Um, 
and I think that's pretty much pretty much it. Um, any questions? Address them to Andrew at, uh, at one of the two houses. Um, and that's it. That's the video in uh, ooh, March 23rd, 24th, and um, new house almost complete. The end.